Hi, I'm Vicki Johnson, author of Gems for the Journey, More Gems for the Journey, and coming very soon, Addicted to Counterfeit Love. I am a connector. I like to call myself a bridge because I connect people. It's fulfilling for me to push people into their purpose. I wanted to become the kind of person I could not really remember having. I had many, many mentors, many coaches, many people to inspire me, but I did not have someone like who I aspire to become. When I die, I really want to leave here empty. And, you know, that really is what drives me to do all of the many, many things that I do. I don't want to leave here having not poured out all that God put in me to leave uh, an impression in the earth. My first book, Gems for the Journey, was birthed out of an opportunity that I had about five years ago to impact women's lives every day on a daily radio segment that I do, I'm Every Woman. And over the course of time, I compiled enough segments to create a devotional, and that was the birthing of Gems for the Journey. And I had, had compiled so many gems. My publisher, Kamani Press, took that one compilation and split it into part one, part two. So you have gems for the journey and more gems for the journey. Writing and journaling was just a part of who I am. I'm a very deep thinker. Um, don't really talk a lot, but I'm always watching, always observing. So I was just writing and very sensitive. I really, really love people. My objective in the book is just to get people to really face self and become honest with yourself so that you can move on and live your best life. That's really what it's about. Fantasy, illusion, those types of things, dysfunctional relationships, are attractive to people for whom reality has nothing to offer, or so they think. So in the book I talk about rejection, I talk about abuse, I talk about what are we doing, undefined relationships, I talk about women who engage in relationships, sex only relationships. Addicted to counterfeit love is going to start a love revolution. <laughs> um, my hope is to become a mirror for people, to see that my journey has been fruitful, that if God did it for me, he can do it for you. My hope is that you finish this book, you pick up this book, Addicted to Counterfeit Love, and you read it, and when you're done reading it, you know that you already have everything you need to become all that God has intended you to be. I want to thank God, <laughs> who is the center of my joy. I want to thank my family and my friends. And specifically, I want to thank, though, the retailers, both the independent and major retailers, who have given me an opportunity to share my message, my ministry, my mission with the world, because without them, it really would not have happened. So I want to say thank you also to the reader, for those who have a passion for reading, for those who have a passion for growing, thank you for receiving the gifts that I have to give to you. And I really appreciate you and hope that you're blessed beyond measure after reading Addicted to Counterfeit Love.